Dude, let's go. It's time to ride. was looking for their car it's right there we found it it's poking its butt out parker says three pulls and she'll be started one two three <laughs> ten sixteen you sure it's not it's got gas in it i don't know what do you want to do mate Get this started. Alright, get five more poles and I'll try it. Oh. I thought you said it starts on three. So I know what's wrong with it. That's uh, Parker's dad's sled. Turbo RMK 155. Here's Parker's sled. Nitro, four stroke. 163 two and a half inch patties turbo as you can see the gauges are right there relays out on it and uh so we're gonna replace that quick we had he had it uh not like waiting to the day we ride but uh hey man the road's closed so we had to go through the neighbor's field that's ripped and we have the trailer on and it's just not smooth this truck might be for sale all highway miles boys and girls <laughs> never seen ripped <laughs> ground never ever seen ripped ground never seen corn stalks never seen bean stubble never been busting drifts never went through a drift that was blocking a bridge nope none of that happened today either we just threw some gas in it what do you think how many poles one one all right just needs gas man That's good. That's fresh. That's what we needed. It is. Get a little refill. Oh. Hey. Oh, hold on. Where's that? Who we got that? What? what? No. See how it's pulled. We got metal in the air box. That ain't good. Okay, stop. Yeah. See how nice and smooth that yeah. is across the bottom? Do it again with that. Yeah. Right. Right there. Yeah. The bottom of this piston here on the right side, the bottom broke off, and that's why there was metal shards in the air box, wherever that went. So we're pull this motor. Uh, neighbor's got same sled, well, same motor and different sled, so we're gonna take that motor out and swap it in this one. Dang it. You have to use a wrench. Why is it belt for your sled so, much, so expensive? Everything is so expensive anymore. You know what skags cost? What's a skag? Uh, oh, carbides. For that? Yeah. Well, for me, three ninety nine. How much is that for you? Bucks. Are you serious? I think, I think mine were one fifty a piece. Fifty five bucks for me for the Indy, but I ended up just stealing the ski, so I got them for free. Now go oh, that forever. French is done for. Hey, bro. What? I'm gonna say it is. It's gonna sound kind of you know a little on the fruity side. This is about fruity good. side, but uh. Those jeans do nothing for your hind end there, buddy. <laughs> Look like a frog. <laughs> well. Look like a frog slipped on a pair of jeans. Thank you very much. These are quilt lined. So on days like today, you don't get chilly. When it's negative 20, my frog ain't cold. Coop, you got a knife? Not on me, no. Anyone have a knife? Brady, you got a knife? No. I, mean, you're they, I might have one in the truck. I'll go well, you're a kid. What? I'm gonna look to that car mechanic too. No. Yeah, he's got a point. Zach. No, I'm not. You are certified. No, you are going to college to be a certified mechanic. There's a knife in the top of the toolbox. Why do you need a knife? To cut that cord. You're not gonna keep that? You're gonna untie that thing? For 1998? Yeah. Cut that thing off. Get more spring pressure on her. Short as she gets. I won't worry about that. Not gonna lie, Levi, I'm kinda hungry. What do you want me to do about it? Levi, what do you have to say that you almost fit in size 5XL snow pants? 
Oh. Where's Zach Splatter's been? <clears throat> I'm sorry that I'm built like a man and you're built like a little boy. That's right. Let's see how we do it from now on. This is been oh, sure. I didn't pick that. It doesn't have suspension Levi. I'll trade you Levi. Oh, good. Straight Levi, up. How do you Freshy motor. I rebuilt it's this so Zach, you want to swap out the handlebars? There's some of my head gas. You yeah. know what? Why do you care what your suspension does when you just sit on the trail anyway? <laughs> oh, whatever. Here's <laughs> Levi. What? That's my oil injection line that I said. And you guys are like, what? That thing don't inject. Well, maybe that's why I blew up. See you about your Oh, yeah. It's the bottom of that piston. Jump. It's like a rainbow. And that one's like a bridge that's straight. <laughs> bridge, rainbow. <laughs> I forgot all bridges. You want a are bridge flat. piston? <laughs> Grenade. Imagine this though 1998. You just went to the mountains with your boys. Oh, yeah. Blue, blue, you blew her up in the mountains. You drag her back to the parking lot. You got a two place stealth. <laughs> Open flip trailer. Up, flip up trailer. Yep, yeah. flip up. Yep. And you've got, kind of stove, you've got an extra motor in the back of the 73 excursion. <laughs> and you swap it out in the hotel parking lot <laughs> and you ride the next morning, Zach. That's what you should so, do. I was nothing talking but a around. crescent wrench. Right. With nothing but a crescent wrench. No, this was back in the craftsman days when you could just go into the old Sears. Yeah, you could head into Sears. That's grab right. yourself a craftsman deal and you'd be on your way. And a can of eat. Now we got a bunch of hippies and you got to take it in there to get your computer plugged in. Just ain't right. Take me back. Back to a night. We're alive! <laughs> yes. River, or on the lake or whatever. And then when they blow up, they just pull the engine in the parking lot and bring the engine up into the hotel. Bad one. And then embed it all in the piston. Oh, I see it. So this one's uh, relatively smooth. Yeah. It's not great. There's a little dink right there. But that one, no bueno. Gosh, it was running so good after the bar, too. I know it. Zach goes, dude, this thing's running so good after it's sitting cold. <laughs> Ten minutes later, <laughs> I pass him and I stop. I'm like, what's going on here? I think this thing just blew up. See how angled that one is? See how straight that one is? The uh, spindle here got bent. I really don't know what I hit. I uh, didn't feel nothing. That's how much it's bent. Uh, wow. I think I have it a little bent past where it should be. Gosh dang, that pulls up a lot. About an eighth inch off still. I think I'm gonna throw it up on there, set it, see what it looks like before I go anymore because I don't want to break this. If I break this, I can't ride it at all. We got snow coming. So, if I got it close, I'll be happy with it. If it's too far off, I'll try it again. But throwing it up by the other one, we're a heck of a lot closer than what we were. I think we might just leave that. Oh, you. 
What you do? Well, first start off here, we got uh, new scratchers. Got to put them up and we loaded on the sled deck and ripped the ends off. So we got new these. Well, when we got the sock set, it was closed, grabbed the handle, picked up, wasn't latched. Who builds a sock set case with one handle on one side? That is stupid. We're out here. Whoa, whoa, jeez. I thought I was gonna come off her. Here's what we're replacing. It's in here. So far, how's this project going? Well, what happened? Drop the socket set. Yeah. It really just ticked me off. I got welded burn on my arm right now, and I pulled my sweatshirt up and it hurts. And the fact that it's gonna take about an hour and find the torque set, it's gonna tick me off. So Cooper, explain why you're doing this. Why? What do you mean why? I told you, I gotta wait it for out here. But why? Because it clutches different. <laughs> I don't know. Why? I, it, it revs out, that's all I know. I just know that I found a hex head and we're doing better than I thought we would. Really? What are you doing with your rig? Oh, we're taking the, the intake boots off because they're cracked. See that right there? Did you get a close up on that? Oh yeah. So, you know, two stroke, more air, faster. But then it blows up and then it's not fast. Where's yours at? It's back there in the corner. Oh, got the hood up on it. You got a phaser at the other shop, but that one sucked too much air and it's not fast anymore. <laughs> so what do we got going? This is a new rig for you. Brand new, Garrett's old one. Pretty steep price, but it's got a new track on it. So, you know, we're hoping it works for me. So what are we replacing? Well, here? we just did a compression test yesterday. Did pretty good. Clean the carbs up. Didn't do a good job on the outside, but the inside, inside's perfect. Inside, about brand new. It's ready for horsepower. Is oh what yeah. You're saying. Yep. Bring on the snow, but as soon as new ones of these come in, ready to go. We'll be in the mountains. I'm worried about the spring shooting my head off. <sighs> We're good. How are you supposed One to more. cross that? I don't know what this is, but here's the springs. This one's a little shorter. Yeah. So a little less compression, I'm guessing. Put this back on. That slides on like so. Ready? Yeah. No. Think it'd be easier to stand on it? Twist your foot to the right. Okay, you should be good. That's like a loaded I felt like I was on the line right there. Oh, got the pressure plate. Ran into some issues last night. Um, coming down here on our primary, we got this little fin broke off here. If you guys can see that, um, this thing's balanced. You can see all these little drill holes. Hi, Ellie. Eyes grow. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, so this is balanced. Uh, I'm afraid with that tooth knocked out, it's going to throw off the balance. So what we did is we ordered a new one. Got the primary clutch out here, and after looking at this here, I noticed when I was taking it off, this was cracked. Well, this is right where the primary would be. That'd be right what was broke. Something shot through here and hit the primary and broke that that piece off. So, probably gonna have to order a new plastic at some point in life here. More money to be spent on this thing. That's how snowmobiling goes, I guess. Someone help this fella so out. Run, boys. We need another one. Uh, well, to tighten these down, so. Yeah, no compression. Dude, you got everything on this thing greasy. Oh, it's my sled, Parker. <laughs> You're gonna go sliding off of it, trying to get a good grip on the drift. 
All right, now that we're actually starting it for real, how many pulls? First pull, guaranteed. My arm is getting tired holding this camera up, right? You poor thing. I know. Hi, Ellie, girl. Hi, Winston. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Hi Winston. Only on one side, we were to blow Those up. carburetors. Come on, Gomer. It's gonna come out of balance. Can get to where I can do it? Thank you. Just a little bit. Backfire. You put up in there, burger? I don't know. You need to get to run off. I'm not going to. Well, any harder, you might pull the motor out. I don't have the motor on the I don't know. They're what? Everyone thinks that like I'm this hot, tall, like yeah, when I yeah. talk to you. Mm -hmm. If I put the camera where my face is, it'd be like this. Well, let's show them how tall you actually are. Hey, man. hey Coop, this is how tall he actually is, yeah. guys. Right, we'll get some cool before we get too ahead of ourselves. <clears throat> She's a runner, boys! Woo! We had one sled. Uh, now we have another. Um, neighbor had a 2012 hard cat, obviously, F1100, four, four stroke for sale. Uh, older guy, had it, never rode it. It's got 1,100 miles on it. Um, figure for the trail riding we do, this sled would do a lot better than a uh, mountain sled. So, bought this one. Um, it's really clean, just needs wash. It's been sitting in the shed and hasn't been out for a couple of years. I wash it, need to put a new battery in it, uh, put some new gas in it, and it should be ready to go. I think it's stupid they don't pull cords. I don't think you'd be able to pull it over. Yeah. It's oh, I bet I could. Here. Right. You've seen me. So does the seat pull back? Oh, nice. Oh, wow. I'm just excited it has a heated seat. Did your exhaust come out the back on your nitro or no? Yeah. What? Comes out the back. Came out the back. It's like right here. It was sure about it. Don't Couldn't keep a track on it. It had so much power. Here. Right. What was the length of the track on this? Uh, I think it said 128. 100 and how many horsepower? I don't know. I couldn't find the number on the non-turbo. Non -tur turbo does 177. Yeah. So this probably, and a two-stroke was 125, so probably what, 150? 35. 140. 50th anniversary sled. Came with the shorter windshield, so we're definitely putting that on because that just, no, not good. I dig the body style way more on this one. This thing's just dirt. Can't beat that color scheme. No, you can't. Throw a battery charger on here and first fire up. You think there'd be a safety thing with the seat off? With this, I mean, unplugged? Whoa. Hold the key down. Boy, it wants to start. How many gallons do you suppose this thing's hold? Probably between 20 and 30. <laughs> that feels black. Oh. Wow. That ain't good. That's bad. Levi, you better hurry up. I need another bucket. Oh, this one's good. Just grab it. It's go it all goes the same place. We're just going to dump that oil in the hole? Yeah, just yeah. dump it in the hole. Yeah. Burn it all. Thanks to whoever turned us in. Okay, we better get that styrofoam out of there because that has major Dude. effects on the environment. Dude, the EPA might get us again. <laughs> It smells varnished. That is not what varnished fuel Dude, that's what, like. that's what varnished. I think that's all we're going to get. Did that come out of the fuel tank? You got to get the uh, liquid yep. above the hose. Yes, yep. I, under, yep. I understand this. What's your opinion on a four-stroke snowmobile? Uh, Hashtag indestructible. Maybe I just said another stupid fact. What did he say? So we took, what, 15 gallons of fuel out? And he goes, will this five gallons fit? <laughs> I did not say that. Maybe that was Garrett. Oh, hmm. <laughs> it was Garrett. We'll just say Levi said it. <laughs>
idiot. Do you think I'm a yes. We're on or yes. what? Yes. Oh, oh dude. Drift, dog. New sled. <laughs>